Hi, I'm Brian Van from SportBikeTrackYear.com, and today we're going to show you how we balance our tires after we've replaced them before we head to the racetrack. We're going to use the static balancing method. It's easy, the equipment to do it is very affordable, simple to obtain. As a matter of fact, we've got them for sale on our website. This piece of equipment can pay for itself very easily if you're mounting your own tires. We've already done a video showing you how we mount our tires. We do have the benefit of the tire machine. So let's get on to the balancing part now. I've got my R6 rim here. I've got mounted on it a brand new Avon 3D Ultra Extreme track tire. Here is the balancing shaft and cones that work with that handy static balancer. The first thing we're gonna do is leave one cone on, slide it through like so. And what I'm looking for here is I wanna have a fairly similar distance sticking out of either side of the rim after I have the cones on the shaft. I'm going to snug this side up and I'll show you what we're going to do here with the other side. We're going to go ahead, install the cone on the shaft like so. Hold it tight because what you don't want to have is you don't want to have the shaft wobbling around inside the rim. This right now, the cones are up against the bearing races. The first thing I like to do is remove the old weights. This wheel still had some of the OEM wheel weights on it, so I've went ahead and removed them. The static balancing method is very easy to do. It doesn't take very long. And I'm going to show you how to do this now. The first step is, with the wheel weights removed, we need to let this swing back and forth on the static balancer until it's stopped. Once it stops, the heaviest portion okay, of this wheel and tire assembly is going to be dead in the middle on the bottom. We need to compensate for that by installing wheel weights effectively opposite of that heavy point. Once we've done that and the wheel basically remains static as you rotate it. It doesn't swing on its own anymore. As you rotate it around the balancer, the job is done and the balance will be good. You can see it's pretty well stopped here. The more patient you are with this, the better result you're going to get. There's a lot of different ways to mark the tire because we need to mark this spot up here. I'm going to use just a, a black sharpie. Come over here, you want to kind of Get right on that access. There's different ways to do it, obviously. It's things that might be a little more visible, but I've found that I have no issues with that. Now what we want to do, we've already cleaned this rim using brake cleaner. We want to install a couple of test weights on here and see how much weight it's going to take to compensate. When we get it into this position, and watch it go. This one is not really taken off all that hard. So we're going to start off with about a half an ounce weight. There's a little bit of trial, trial and error involved in this and the more you do it the more you'll get used to how much weight it'll typically take based upon how fast it's moving. Kind of swing it up here. We still need a little bit more. You can still see that heavy spot wants to come down the other side. What I normally do is I have a couple of test weights hanging around. You can see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of folding it back halfway. Still a little bit, so we're going to go with one more piece. And now you can clearly see that it stopped moving. Okay, it doesn't want to take off anymore. What we're going to do from here is rotate it into a couple of different positions. And that's a nicely balanced assembly. What I'm going to do from here Right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to peel back the rest of the tape. 
stick it on there nicely. I'm going to cover it with some duct tape, and that just ensures that the wheel weights are going to stay on the rim. You can get all kinds of different color. All I have right now is white because I'm normally mounting on white wheels, right? You can get black, gray, all kinds of different colors to match your rim. Remember, you can also reuse OE wheel weights if you prefer that look and have them dead in the center of the rim. This particular tire, it's going to take about an ounce to balance it, and that, at the end of the day, is really not bad. We've gotten a good result. That's how we balance ours. This is one of those things. There's a lot of different methods out there. We found this to be really effective over the years. I've done it a number of times. Hopefully this video helps you decide whether or not you want to service your own wheel and tire changes on your bike.